say this: If they don't agree with it, they don't agree with it. You know no, what I mean? I, 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 I don't see it the same listen, way. If you don't care about someone disrespecting black people, disrespecting your ancestors, then it's probably because you don't respect your people or your ancestors. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't understand it. I mean, with so many people talked about it in so many pictures. I mean, hey. So you're not gonna wear none of that now? But the Gucci stuff and all that? Mm-hmm. No, I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm holding off for. I'm, I'm riding with my people for what t- three months. But, but <laughs> I'm riding with my people for three months. When did that three months start? It started like a couple days ago. Yeah, I'm riding with my people for three months. Well, and this month is I short. I hate niggas. <laughs> yeah, but, y'all. Well, but they I really did. T.I. did call for a three-month boycott. Three boycott. Yeah, boycott. Yeah, T.I. said three-month boycott. Three boycott. boycott. The bad oh, thing man, about it is man. a lot of people purchase Gucci and they have black designers. They got Dapper Dan. I'm not supposed to buy wear none of my Dapper Dan. Listen, Dapper Dan was at the uh, 212 Dapper Day Dan event had it on last night. He had it on last night. Casanova had it on the day before. I see Meek Mill with a Gucci belt. What There's am I a lot of people uh, not that's I, not really partaking in this boycott. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to ride with my uh, people, but a lot of stuff I purchased before, and it's like, all right. You know, I, y'all, hey. All I, right, well, let's it, move on. I just, it's just so hard. Terrible. You're right. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Yee. Oh, my God. You didn't say what you're going to do with your Gucci stuff, Yee. <laughs> what am I going to do with it? Um, I don't know. I switched over to Chanel. Yeah. So you're not going to wear none of that Gucci stuff no more? You're going to hold Chanel on? Chanel don't care about y'all neither. I'm kidding. And I don't I'm even know her. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be at the iHeart Festival. <laughs> Chanel will be there. <laughs> what you gonna do with the Gucci stuff? Oh, I don't know. Listen, I'm just waiting to see what statements are being released because I know that... They're gonna wait three months with me. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sure they're gonna do things because uh, one thing that Spike Lee was calling for was more inclusivity to hire more black designers My so things God. like this don't happen. So people just have wait? to be held accountable for things. This is such a first world problem. wait three, three months with me? You gonna wait three months with me? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> this is I have, a, I have a lot of Gucci. I mean, all right, all right. This is such, Revolve, a, first Revolve, world, we'll this is such a first world problem. <laughs> you can't boycott what you can't afford. Some of y'all boycotting oh, what y'all never bought. All right, okay. Mix is up and, next, but I'm with you in spirit. It's the Breakfast Club. Let's not talk about Evie's jacket today. I ain't got no jacket on. I mean, you know, that lets you know that black people can never be on one accord unless we separate ourselves from the coons and the sambos and the ones that want to help hold black society back, denigrate black society for their own personal gain or for the own or for the or for the almighty dollar. Dead white men, former slave owners. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you got the you got p- people like DJ Envy and Angela Yee talking about they'll boycott Gucci for three months. I'll hold out for three months. <laughs> you hold out for three months. Like I said, you know, and I said this in my, my very first video talking about this incident with with uh, Gucci. Proud of all these European high fashion brands that it's a permanent boycott. And that we should only be supporting. The first priority is supporting our own. All right. The first priority is supporting our own. Point blank and simple. If you're not down for the advancement and the progression of black society, black empowerment, black first, like other ethnic groups, like the Jewish community, you know what I'm saying? They will hold you accountable if you disrespect them as a collective. I mean, check out 21 Savage. He did a song referencing Jewish money. And guess what? He was forced to apologize. Check out Lil Pump. The rapper Lil Pump. He says something disrespectful about the Asian community. And guess what? He was forced to apologize. You know what I'm saying? And the flip side of that is that, you know, in terms of that, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that an apology is is, is needed for these incidents with, with Gucci and Prada and, you know, all these other brands. It's not it's not. That's not what we need. Fucking apology. You know, what I'm saying fucking apology. We don't need their apology, but we need to hold them accountable. You know what I'm saying? When you, you when you design something like blackface particularly a gollywog blackface which is what uh gucci did that was by design you knew what you were doing that was by design for for you to release it during black history month 
that was done purposely. That was done purposely to denigrate and, and, and make sure that you disassociate yourself from the market of black people. Of course, those brands don't market to us. They're, they're not a part. Of, this is not a part of their demographic. You know what I'm saying? I respect people like Dapper Dan and all that stuff for, for designing things from, from Gucci and, and things of that nature. But at the same time, you know, um, they're using you, brother. You've been you've been designing a, a Gucci um, influence. Gucci was influenced by your designs, your bootleg designs. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, now that you're officially on board as a Gucci designer and you feel disrespected by, you know, that black that blackface eight hundred and ninety dollar sweater. All you are to them is a chess piece. You are an accessory. That's it. Because you've been designing for, for Gucci. You've been designing for Gucci for 30 plus years. And you just finally became just officially working with them at last year, a couple years back. It's crazy. But you're just an accessory to them. You know what I'm saying? My point is, is that you need to be your own man and design your own products under your own umbrella, on your own brand, and have high fashion onto yourself, to your own umbrella, your own business. You know what I'm saying? And the other thing about, you know, uh, black society is that, like I said, we can't be on one accord unless we separate ourselves. We purge ourselves from these coons, these sambos, these coon code authors. You know what I'm saying? The the, the people who want to denigrate and, and, and hold black society black, hold black society back. You know what I'm saying? Um, there was remember that incident with the, the elder Native American, I think a last month or something like that. And then those white supremacist high school students who wore the MAGA hats was out there in front, just mocking him, just standing there looking at him. You know what I'm saying? Mocking him. You know, that that whole the whole uh, incident went viral. Do you know how many black people defended the uh, that Native American elder? It was crazy how many black people were defending him. And and, you know. Rightfully so, he was disrespected. But my point is, is that so many of us are quick to defend people outside of our group. But yet the minute that we are, are disrespected as a collective, you don't see the Mexican community or the Asian community saying, yeah, Gucci, that was disrespectful. You, you owe black society an apology. You know what I'm saying? But I see a whole bunch of black people saying, yeah, that Native American... Yes, he was being disrespected and those MAGA high school students, they're wrong. But I don't see the Jewish community. I don't see I don't see like I said the Mexican community. I don't see the uh the Native American community going to our defense about the incident with Gucci and Prada and Montclair to our defense. But we're so quick to go ahead and defend other groups outside of our own. It's crazy. But that's just who that's just who we are, man. As a collective, that's just who we are. You know what I'm saying? But uh, going back to DJ Envy and Angela Yee, um, so we know what time it is with them, man. We we know what time it is with them, man. Um, you know, I'm not surprised by their comments. They're talking about we'll, we'll only boycott Gucci for three months. I hold off for three months. Yeah, like three months is really gonna do some shit. Again, if if black people collectively stop buying Gucci, Gucci will be fine. Stop buying Louis Vuitton. Stop buying all these designer high fashion brands. Prada. You know what I'm saying? Dolce Gabbana, whatever. They'll be fine. They don't market to us. They don't cater to us. All these stores are in affluent communities. They're not in black communities. They're not in impoverished environments like us. It's by design. They don't want our money. They don't need our money. So we have to empower and embrace our own people. It's that simple. Because it's 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 always always the code that they follow in other ethnic groups like the Jewish, Native American, and Asian community. They do it all the time. So why can't we do it continuously? You know what I'm saying? So. So yeah, from those are my thoughts about that about uh, DJ Envy and uh, Angelie Angelie talking about the only boycott Gucci for three months. Um, even even um, <laughs> Charlemagne was like. Yeah, I got everything black on except, you know, his shoes were, were, were Timberland. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, 
But yeah, like I said, my point is, is that we can never be on one accord unless we, we purge ourselves from the ones who only want to protect and empower and advance black society. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? We live in a system of racism, white supremacy. We need a system of justice. It's just that simple. All right, fam. Those are my thoughts about that. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at GMOG Media TV. Till next time, family. Chauncey, GMOG Media TV. Signing up. G 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 Media TV.